thousands of feet over southern England to provosts and a lightning. This is salesmanship in fantastic 1961. Shop window of Britain's aircraft industry, the 22nd SBAC display. And if you're selling aeroplanes, why not fly one yourself? Say, in a Beagle, specially designed to enable top executives to get 60 minutes out of every business hour. In any business, of course, not just the aircraft industry. Other models from the same stable retain their old military connection. The Beagle Airedale, selling for £4,750, is a four-seater executive tourer. The Dart Herald, a twin turboprop, seats 56, cruises at 275 miles an hour, has a fine record on short journey services. All this, just a high altitude foretaste of what the Society of British Aircraft Constructors are displaying at Farnborough. For the 14th time here at the Royal Aircraft Establishment Farnborough, and the 22nd since the first SBAC show at Hendon, the aircraft industry of Great Britain is at home to buyers from all over the world, offering planes of almost every conceivable kind, freight, passenger, military, futuristic. Visitors with a lot of know-how include Earl Mountbatten. Familiar at Farnborough, the faster-than-sound Victor Bomber. And by way of contrast, the two-seater Hawker Hunter. Air Marshal Sir Hector McGregor, head of Fighter Command, pointed out the Meteor no-pilot target plane. But this year's top exhibit is surely the Handley Page 115. The wings sweep back more than in any other aircraft. It's a research plane mainly to find out if a supersonic Atlantic airliner of this shape could be slowed down for safe landing and takeoff. <music> Missiles are nowadays prominent at Farnborough. Bloodhounds and Blue Streak look to some like a hint that the days of manned military aircraft are numbered. Maybe unless the world quickly acquires more sense, everybody's days are. Blue Steel is launched from a plane and guided by automatic navigation. Blue Streak will be a satellite launcher. The Army's contribution to the display was by helicopter. The Skeeters almost turned the air into a parade ground. Earl Mountbatten was here with a party of Russians looking at a formation of scimitars. The beginning of a flying display such as not even Farnborough has ever bettered. Six Royal Air Force parachutists making a simultaneous free-fall jump from a transport command Beverly. They've been practicing for several weeks and have all qualified with drops of 60 seconds delay. A terrific test of nerve and control. Dropping singly from 4,000 feet, First-class parachutists can almost simulate bird flight. Arm and leg movements help them to land in a very small target area. There's no end to the military use of helicopters, but every time you see them, they seem as miraculous as ever. No less wonderful is the SC-1 vertical takeoff and landing research aircraft. Four jet engines provide the lift, another takes the plane forward. No runway needed, far greater safety, and enormous saving of land. All eyes now on the aerobatic display by number 92 squadron. Hunter jet fighters with scarcely four feet between each one.
always a favourite at Farnborough, the Folland Mack. This aircraft has been adopted by the Royal Air Force as the standard advanced trainer. The Victor Bomber. Dart-like Handley Page 115 experimental aircraft is the forerunner of supersonic airliners, typical of the forward-looking enterprising industry, keeping Britain in the front rank in this modern age of the air. <laughs> 